Hey guys, hanging out in the sauna today. And I was just thinking uh, and talking with my brother about uh, art and uh, some of the misconceptions. And I just wanted to talk about what I think is the biggest misconception about art. And uh, I would say that uh, it's about artists. And you know, you hear this all the time, you know, artists are so emotional and artists are so sensitive and they're so intuitive and they're just, and really, you know, I think probably the best uh, analogy is this issue of uh, falling in love, right? People think that they fall into love and there's a, there's a Hollywood message that love is something that strikes you when you see someone beautiful and you're drawn to them in a sort of mystical way. And while I believe there is a mysterious sort of connectedness that we have with our loved ones, I don't think that love is that feeling. Love is the decision to wake up and choose someone every day. And in choosing them, uh, you express love to them. Otherwise, love is a feeling. Love is something you experience and not something that you have uh, an ability to uh, decide for, right? It's just love happens to you. I don't believe that love happens to you. I believe that uh, you must you know, have romantic feelings for someone. You could uh, be attracted to someone, but I think love is a choice. And, and where I'm getting at with this is I think that art, as much as uh, artists might be emotional, they might be in their feelings, they might be expressive of their feelings more than maybe your average engineer. Um, artists, the great ones at least, the only ones that you've ever heard of we're, we're so driven to making artwork that they ignored those feelings of, uh, of, of sadness and, uh, and sorrow in the midst of their projects and chose to be creative and chose to create. It's a, a lot less of an emotional decision to wake up in the morning and make art. And that's, I think, what I'm getting at here. The misconception is that artists make things always because they love to make things. I think that Artists should, and often the great artists uh, who we know of, uh, woke up in the morning early or, you know, whenever they did, maybe later in some cases, and made art even if they didn't feel like it. They made art because they were uh, compelled to make art and because it's what they knew that they were called to do. And many times I believe they felt a passion for it, a love for it, uh, emotion, a sort of romantic view of, of their artwork. But I think also many times they felt um, dispassioned, you know, think about Michelangelo, you know, tell Michelangelo that artists are just sort of kind of flighty and do whatever they want. When he expressed that his feet were literally uh, bonded to his boots by virtue of his uh, hard work, having not taken them off in so many uh, days that, you know, scabs and open sores were forming on his feet. Uh, you know, when, when he talks about, uh, you know, painting the Sistine Chapel, expressing that the paint would constantly drip onto his face and drive him mad, right? He was not enjoying himself in, in many of these uh, projects, and yet he was still driven to create and made some of the most amazing masterpieces of the modern age. Uh, and, and I guess in, in conclusion... I uh, have not yet totally mastered this, but I've gained more mastery in putting aside my feelings and showing up and putting my butt in the seats or, or getting my hands to the chisels and making the artwork. And it's more about that than, oh man, I really kind of feel this thing in me that needs to come out, right? That's actually laziness. It's a, it's a, I think that's actually a covert uh, excuse. Uh, it's a laziness that comes from this idea that you have to have the feeling, like you have to have the idea, the gift to make art. That's it's. Those are all dismissive statements. Uh, when in reality, to, you know, if you want to be creative or make art, uh, you have to make a decision to create every day, even if it means suffering for it. So that's it. I don't think that I'm. I'm not trying to be a downer. I don't think that art is always a downer or it's always suffering, but. Sometimes it will be, it won't always go your way. And I think if you sort of imagine that that's what that lifestyle is like, uh, then you're gonna do really poorly. And I also just out of pure pride, I don't want people to think that that's what it feels like to be an artist is just to wake up and do whatever you want. Um, that's not the case at all. From, from the moment I wake up, 
I have to force myself up to get uh, outside, to get walking, um, to go into the shop, to, to do the things that I, you know, at the end of the day, love to do, but I'm not always thinking of it that way. So that's all. Hope this was uh, informative and not too, uh, you know, not too um, brash or whatever. Okay, see you guys.